Hey guys, so um, pretty new to these crawlers, uh, but one thing I noticed that I needed to upgrade was having some more weight to the car. Um, they had this front weight kit, which is from HR. It's called an Ultimate Brass Weight Knuckle Portal Cover for the TRX4. Uh, they didn't have front and back, I just had enough to do one, so I chose to do the front because I noticed when I go up a steep hill, they would want to tip back. So I'm going to go ahead and put the weight in the front until they actually have the other ones in stock. Then I'll do the rear, but we're going to focus on the front one. I'm going to show you guys a quick video of how to put it together. So you go ahead and start off by taking off your actual nut there so you could pull your wheel off. I'm going to show you a quick view of the other side. I already finished it. Um, take this cover off to see a little better lighting. There it is on the actual vehicle. So go ahead and remove the other tire first and then we'll do step by step. Hopefully I don't miss a step for you guys and hopefully this video makes it very easy for you guys to do. So once you have your wheel taken off, take off this little screw as well as the one that's right here. So that's one, two, and then you gotta take off this one right here. So one, two, three. So go ahead and remove those so that we can actually pull off this little hub. So as you see, I removed these two from here. I'm almost done taking that one out. This one up here is gonna look a lot like this with that little sleeve so don't lose that little sleeve uh, that sleeve helps keep that straight and lines it up so that it's nice and I guess even just don't lose that little guy don't forget that that little guy right there that is in there don't forget that that's in there because you'll drop it and you can lose it real easily now once you have those removed it should just slide out as you see, there's a little groove in there, so when you put it in, don't force it. Make sure you just um, slide it in there till it fits nice and smooth in there, and it goes all the way in. Anyways, now, let's take this one apart. So go ahead and remove um, this wheel nut, like this, whatever the wheel sits on, I forget what they're called. There's an Allen key right there. You need to fully take out that screw in there completely so this comes out. Let's go ahead and start off by doing that. So there is the screw that needs to come out. Then that just slides right off the shaft. So put that back in here so you don't lose it. Unless you have a really good placement of your screws. But easier just to put that back in there so this way you don't lose it. Now remove that screw and that screw right there, as well as all the ones that you see back here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's it. Yeah, so go ahead and remove all those screws right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on the front side, one, two. So those are the back screws from the back side. And those are the two screws for the front side that you need to remove. You do not need to remove these three screws that are holding in this bearing, just so you know. Now they should just pull apart. I don't know if I can do this while I'm holding the camera, but might be able to. There we go. You do have to pop out that bearing right there and that one on top up there. The way I did it, I just picked that top one out and then this one right here, get a little socket and tap it out nicely or evenly tap this bearing right here out so it comes out this way. I want to see if I could do it. I used this little guy last time. 
There you go. This pops right out. There's that bearing. Now this one, try to stick a little Allen key in there or some of that. You just pop it out. Don't force it. It will come out really, really easy. Now you got to insert it in this one. So you grab that bearing. Oops, sorry. My shadow's all over the place. And just put that. Oops, I'm crooked in there. Well, you get the idea, so I'm going to try to put that in there right now. It's a little straighter because I'm kind of crooked. So that one goes there, and then that one you got to put in that hole right there. So since I'm doing this camera by myself, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and then put the bearings in there real fast. Now you can see that the bearings are out, and they're both in there. Now, just the way the other one got came off, you just gotta slide this one. Let's see if I could do it one-handed. There we go. There we go. You guys can see I did it one-handed. Now just line up the screw holes. It did come with the right screws for every section so keep the screws together they'll stay with those and you'll see as they come in the package they're all together so go ahead and keep them together those screws are all for here I did use these two screws that were in the front for these holes right here just because it's going from the metal to the plastic and not from plastic to metal so I'm going to use the screws that were into the plastic so I'm not putting a different kind of thread on it or anything different just in case so those two screws I'm putting back up here in the front two holes. And then the back side, the six screws, I'm going to put the ones that it came with. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in. So this way you guys can see. So I can see, as you can see there, um, I put those two screws back in there that are originally in the front. And in the back I did put all the screws that it came with. I mean, kind of tell I didn't uh, tighten them all the way down, so you guys can hopefully see that. I know my quality sucks. I'm no professional at doing videos or actually making and working on these cars, but this is how you put it together. So go ahead and tighten all those down. Make sure you tighten those evenly. Give them a good little snug. Don't over tighten them, especially the ones that go from here straight into plastic. You don't want to strip those guys. Now that it's in, you guys can see those two holes right there. This is the back side, obviously. And this is the one that goes back there. This faces um, to the inside of the car. That groove right there sits in there. So you just line up the holes. Uh, there we go. It does come with the right screws for that guy, so make sure you're using the right screws. These two fit perfectly right here. Remember, all these screws come with the parts that they are supposed to be for, so don't mix them up. They're the right lengths and everything. So go ahead and put these two screws in these two holes when you line it up here and here. Um, right there. Here's another quick video. The screws are lightly it in but that's how it will look when it lines up and I'll go ahead and tighten those screws all the way down don't over tighten them now that is put on that's the way it looks in the front now you have these little weights these are adjustable I guess so you could put the weights however you want you see the two holes on both sides I'm gonna distribute the weight right in the middle so it'll be the middle hole so it's not like that, it's not like that. It's right in the middle holes. So you have that one and that one that I'm gonna line it up with. I'm gonna use both of these weights. And yes, they come with the right screws. You have the long ones or the short ones if you're not gonna run both weights. I'm gonna run both weights because eventually I'm gonna do the back exactly the same. Or I guess depending on how the crawling goes, I might remove some weight. There may be more weight in the back, just depends 
how I do it once I get more comfortable to the way I'm going to be crawling or I guess whatever makes it easier for me to crawl. But go ahead and put those on. You get the long two screws. Make sure they line up. Don't strip them. Once you put those on, we'll move on to the next step. There it is it lined up. Hopefully that's not too blurry for you guys. But you could see the top two holes because I have it in the middle hole. So they're not tying all the way down yet, but go ahead and tighten them down. Now that it is put on, make sure that little hole on top of your drive shaft, I can't really see it, but there's a little hole to put this guy back on. Like I said, I put my screw back in it, so take it completely back out. And then, I don't know if you can see the hole right there. So that lines up. If it doesn't line up and down, just go ahead and spin your little shaft. It'll rotate this side as well. So go ahead and put this little guy on. This part faces in. So it goes into the actual hub. Don't face it out. So now that it's in, make sure it spins nice and freely. If it doesn't, then you did something wrong somehow. Now that you have all the screws, make sure you didn't miss a screw or two that is loose or anything like that. Make sure everything's tight. Now you got to put it onto the car. This might be hard for me to hold and do by one hand, but go ahead and slide it in there. Try to wiggle it in there. Let's see if you can try to line it up in there. Spin it. Let's see if I get lucky doing it one handed. There we go. Went right in. I'll put that screw and the bottom screw. And then we'll work on the linkages. But go ahead and put your screws in there. Uh, will it fall out? Nope. Don't forget about those spacers, guys. Okay. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, maybe, maybe. Okay, I gotta put down the phone. But you get the idea. You gotta put it in. Make sure it's nice and straight. The little washers falls right in there. You just go ahead and screw it down. Now that you have the top and bottom screw in, you gotta get these linkages. The top one on top. Oops. And then this one in the middle. That didn't really work out too well. Can't really do it one handed. So put it back together. That one goes on top. The other one goes in the middle. Put the screw in. And tighten it down. Now you guys can kind of see. There's a screw holding them down. Make sure you line it up. So bottom linkage, top linkage. Just screw it down. Now that it's on. All you need to do. Let's put your wheel back on. Um, wherever I might have put my nut. Usually tip. Oh, there it is. Uh, come out. I can go ahead and tighten that. And there you go, guys. They are on. The only screws I have left over are the two ones. Well, four, total of four. It's the ones I did from, let me see, let me show you guys again. From the outside to the inside, that goes from the metal to the plastic. I didn't want to change them out because the screws are still going into plastic, so I decided to keep the ones that were on there originally on the front side. So that one and that one, which is these two. I kept those screws just because they're the original ones that threaded into the, through the, to the plastic instead of putting a whole new screw and possibly making a whole new thread. So, pretty easy guys. Hopefully, um, this was easy for you guys to see. Now I'm pretty excited to see. Like I said also, uh, this is adjustable so if you want the weight to lean more this way 
or this way depending on your crawling conditions you can adjust that or if you want less weight you could take these two screws out take a plate off and put the shorties on there there's enough for both sides so you can remove those if you need to I don't even know if I'm going to need to I hope I don't because I like the way this looks and hopefully the weight actually really does help a lot because it was tipping up a lot and then anyways next thing for me is going to be the diff covers the front and back and then I'm going to do the weights um, the, all this I just did in the back when it becomes available at the local store that I go to um, oh another thing I also did is I ran this little fan this heat sink it's from HR as well but this fan I'm got to make sure who I got this fan from but this fan I really 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 like very happy with this fan so let's put the wheel back on and see what it looks like so there they are definitely a big difference in weight I'm pretty much pushing the same amount this one I can pick up like nothing this one I actually got to put a little strength into it to pick it up so there you guys go um, hopefully this video helped if you guys have any questions uh, let me know again this is the Traxxas TRX4 the 2021 model alright guys thanks for watching